Here it is a short presentation of the first trial carried out with the rollback floating system operated for the purpose of fattening oysters. This presentation is intended for all those who are looking for the right autonomous system for breeding and fattening oysters. This first trail was carried out in Normandy over the six months of winter on two oyster beds with the respective heights of 2.95 meter and 2.4 meter, containing bags of number three oysters. The roll bags were filled with oysters from the fin category. During this period, the area concerned suffered eight storms with winds above 100 km per hour including five major storms which are described here. So in the aftermath of the storm Chiara, which locally reached 160 km per hour, the rollback pack was completely unharmed. The tables are sealed in the ground. The rollbacks contain 12 kg of oysters, which is not the optimum filling since these works very well between 15 and 20 kg. I insist on the fact that the tables are sealed in the ground because it's the only weak point of the system. The rollbags, as we see, are designed to present a very robust structure. So, after four months of winter and two months of early spring, the roll bags were harvested. On these pictures, we can see that the structure of a roll bag facilitates stacking. There is also very limited soiling on the mesh, which is self-cleaning by its shape, which maintains the productivity of a roll bag during breeding. We can also see the integrity of the floats, which have not undergone any degradation. The product obtained corresponds to rolled oysters, clean, with a super special meat content, which completely fills the shell. Here we can compare the same oyster reared in classic bags on the tables located next to the rollback park. Also, be advised that the roll bags did not require any human intervention since they are set in motion by the tides. As everyone knows and as specified on the internet, if a special oyster corresponds to an oyster with a meat rate above 10.5%, then an oyster with a meat rate above 15% is classified as super special. During the same period, from October to April, in Portugal, number two and number one oysters fattened in roll bag and intended for export reached a mid rate of 21% with a heavy shell, which is a common result with this groundbreaking material with a very high resistance and a large production capacity. Back to the trial in Normandy. Knowing that the producer benefited from an added value of 2 euros per kilo for a very average load of 12 kilo per roll bag, we end up with a return on investment which only requires two rounds of fattening, with in the end an oyster in the super special category that always finds its market. Right now, I have a launch offer for 25 roll bags at a price of 1,125 euros without shipping, ensuring a potential production of 300 kg of super special oysters per turn. Do not hesitate to contact me to discuss about it. See you soon.